Earth's climate system is usually well behaved. A little more sun, a little more CO2, and we get a predictable amount of warming. This is a pattern of natural variability of the climate that our planet has experienced over the past 400,000 years, as recorded in the physics and chemistry of ice cores. The regular ups and downs in temperature are the result of changes in Earth's orbit around the sun, and their subsequent effects on levels of carbon dioxide and other heat-trapping gases. You can think of this natural variation as the Ice Age roller coaster. As a geologist, I'm at home in the vast expanses of time. So, let's take a ride, cresting hills and rolling through valleys, following the more or less regular pattern of changing climate over hundreds of thousands of years. Here, we're down at 180 parts per million of CO2 and in an ice age. Now, we're climbing to 280 parts per million, a warmer interglacial period then down to a cold 180, and up again to a warmer 280. Then repeating, 180, 280, the natural cycling of the climate roller coaster. But if we look in greater detail at 100,000 years of Earth history, and specifically at the ice core record from Greenland, it's obvious our planet's climate hasn't always had smooth ups and downs. Occasionally, we cross some sort of a tipping point, and the Earth evolves really rapidly to a new state, which is very different. Over the last 100,000 years of the Ice Age cycling, we've had a couple of dozen of these large, abrupt, widespread climate shifts. Almost as if the Earth was bungee jumping off the climate roller coaster. Of course, you'd have to be a little nuts to bungee off a roller coaster, which is why I'm leaving this to my computer avatar. But these abrupt climate changes are real. Here's one of the largest and most recent. About 13,000 years ago, as the Earth was climbing out of the last ice age, the North passed a tipping point and rapidly slid back into a cold millennium. Drying monsoon regions of Asia where huge populations now rely on rain and warming the south. There was weather and climate disruption worldwide. But then another tipping point was reached and in 10 years or so, temperatures in Greenland rose by about 10 degrees centigrade, 18 Fahrenheit. Numbers we know with high confidence from the ice core record. Today, whatever climate model we use to project the impact of rising levels of CO2, you see a relatively smooth curve, heading upward, but in principle a change we could adapt to. But Earth's history shows us that Earth's climate doesn't always work this way. Sometimes it really does get as crazy and unpredictable as bungee jumping off the climate roller coaster. An abrupt climate change could be really bad for people. We're optimistic that we won't have one, but we're not certain. And the science suggests that the harder and faster we turn the CO2 knob, the more likely we are to cross a tipping point and trigger one. Yet here we are today, racing up a hill to who knows where, as burning fossil fuels means we've blown past 390 parts per million without slowing down. Will our ascent be smooth and manageable, or will our ride come off the rails? If we wanted to take out insurance against the possibility of such a change, we could look at slowing down now before we tip over the edge. <laughs>